But first, devious crime. A woman accused of stealing from a small Baltimore business to supply her own online store. Employees caught her on camera, ripping off thousands of dollars worth of designer clothes and jewelry. WJZ is live in Hamden. Kimberly Eden explains police say the crimes might not end there. Kimberly? And Denise, employees actually blocked the door inside Brightside Boutique until officers could get here and catch that accused shoplifter. But they say she wasn't just stealing the clothes to wear, she was taking the stuff and then selling it online. A thousand dollar shopping spree. Twenty four dollar necklace. And that goes right in her jacket. right in her pocket. Without the thousand dollar price tag. She takes the whole shelf and she's looking as she's doing it. Cameras inside Brightside Boutique on Hamptons Avenue recorded a necklace here, a jacket there, vanishing off hangers and shelves late last month. I have like 13 girls working for me and um, and we work really hard and this is our whole life. So owner Christy Griffiths and her employees didn't forget the face of that sticky fingered customer. Exactly one week and three seconds later, she's back. This time, police follow. Court records say police issued 33 year old Jenna Newman a criminal citation. Something like that can put my business out of business. Meanwhile, Griffith says her merchandise showed up here, along with 900 other things for sale, most with tags still attached. The page registered to a Jenna. The location? Baltimore. After we saw the online store, it was like, okay, this is just on a whole nother level. This isn't, you know, uh, urge to steal a book. It, it's a, it's a business that she has. Now, police tell WJZ they're not just investigating this case; they want other stores with similar thefts to call Crime Stoppers. And some of the other brands for sale on that same page: Anthropology, Lululemon, Old Navy, Ulta Beauty. Many more, all that happen to have locations in Canton, Harbor East, and other places around Baltimore. Reporting live in Hampton tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. All right, thank you very much, Kimberly. Newman is scheduled to appear in court in January.